Ano ano? Mahara na yun sa nabukulat bulb. Para sa akin kasi sir, uh, yung nutritional status ng bata ay napaka-importante para tumas yung level nila in performance sa loob ng klase. O yung performance level nila sa loob ng klase. Kasi kung butong pa talaga, wala. I think the solution has to be affordable and convenient for them. Something, uh, some goods that are readily available that has already been fortified. Uh, the things that you don't, uh, you don't spend another centavo. So what you've heard, what does it tell us? What should it tell us? A teacher who can observe and predict how well a child will perform in school. You have a child who will not be able to see well by the end of the day. You have a doctor who is frustrated at looking at preventable childhood diseases at levels that are unacceptable. These are the not hidden aspects of hidden hunger. This puts a face, it puts a cost on hidden hunger. Rice would be an excellent delivery system for these important nutrients uh, because Filipinos love to eat rice. So we, we eat rice at least three times a day. But the problem with rice is that it's not very nutritious. It doesn't contain the whole range of nutrients that people need to be healthy. So if we put something to that rice, if we add more nutrients to it somehow, and then that would be a good system for the people. Hidden hunger, what is it? It's a, a number of micronutrient deficiencies that show up in large populations, up to two billion people in the world. It's primarily iron, zinc, vitamin A, and some others. Why? People's diet or people's access to, to diet is insufficient at the levels of whole populations, at the levels of children, pregnant women, level of lactating mothers. Women and children disproportionately suffer from, vitamin, from, from these deficiencies, from iron, zinc, and vitamin A deficiency. Their needs are greater. Children are growing. Pregnant and lactating mothers are eating for two. If the diet is deficient, they suffer more than others. Most of the patients coming here are really, are really malnourished. And they're the same patients coming here uh, having the same problem, uh, respiratory infections, gastrointestinal. When, when you are malnourished, it means that your immune system is down and you, you are high risk to having an infection. Now, hidden hunger is really there, uh, trying to really uh, stagnate the productivity of our population, especially the young children. So if this is prolonged, then we might uh, have a very um, non-productive uh, human resources of the country and therefore this will actually redound to poor economic growth. We have the diversity of rice plants, for example, to be able to do it. We have the tools, we have the science, we have traditional plant breeding, we have biotechnology, we have modern biotechnology that would allow us to do it. As it has been in the past, I'm confident that we can develop better varieties, not only in terms of producing more, not only in terms of uh, warding off insect pests and diseases, not only in terms of improving the grain quality, but also in terms of enhancing their nutritional quality. We develop, we evaluate, and hopefully time will come, we will deliver together uh, nutritionally enhanced crops so that we can contribute in solving the problem of malnutrition.